Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I have for you a haul and it's a huge haul. I decided to do this this week because I haven't done a haul in a while. I thought it was time for me to update you on like my personal purchases and some items that brands sent me but that I believe are essential items for fall slash winter. I have a lot of stuff in here from different budgets. I will list the price of everything. Links will be down below on the description. So let's roll the intro, come on! Alright, so let's start this huge haul. I'm gonna do it by brand, so I'm gonna show you brand by brand whatever I have here. And this will be a try on haul, so the best way that i found for me to do this type of hauls is to show you the item and at the same time a clip of me just wearing it so you guys can see exactly how it looks when it's on. So the first brand that I will actually show you items from, it's Mozos. If you guys don't know this brand, this is a Korean brand that I love not only because the items are so pretty but also because the whole Instagram from the brand is so inspiring. I take a lot of inspo from their account. I think it's very minimalistic, very pretty. Comparing like price and quality, I think it's very affordable and it's totally worth it because the pieces have really good quality. The first item I got from Modus is this fake leather jacket and I wanted one of this for the longest time. Actually, I was watching Itaeon class you guys, I'm always speaking about Itaeon class because it really stuck in my mind. It's a K-drama that I love. The main character, Park Seroy, has like the best jackets ever in leather or fake leather. I tried to find like a version of the leather bomber jackets that he wears but a little bit more girly and I found this one which is so perfect and I love that it's cropped, fits really good on the body and sometimes with fake leather, sometimes it happens that material looks very cheap or uh, smells funny. This one, it's so good. I really love the texture. I love that it's very thick. Highly, highly recommend this jacket. And the second item from Modos, it's actually a satin black skirt and I just love this. I never thought that I would get into this kind of mid-length skirt and I actually tried with chunky boots and I loved it. So I've been wearing this type of skirt with chunky boots and chunky loafers, uh, really thick socks. It looks so good and I really love how it suits on the body. It's high-waisted, the material is so good and I chose the black one because I really love black. And the next item is from another brand called Mayotin. I hope that's how you say it. It's from Copenhagen and it's just a new brand that I discovered so I wanted to bring it to this haul because I love discovering new brands from different countries and this is more towards the high end the jacket that I'm gonna show you is like 300 euros so it's not like the cheapest thing either but let me tell you if you have the budget it's totally worth it the quality is like chef's so this is the jacket that I got from them it's very oversized very pretty I ordered like the biggest size that they have so this is like large slash extra large I love that it's kilted and the sleeves are different colors which I think it's so cool depending on the side profile you are giving it looks like a different jacket it's very very pretty and the lining is also borg fabric so it's so warm and the thing that I love the most is like how oversized it is okay moving on to another brand the next one is actually Naked it's from Sweden I think I believe it's very affordable it's not like a Primark but it's more like a Zara or H&M and the first jacket is this one so I really love my jacket it's oversized and a an European 42 is like a UK 14 I think. The quality is also amazing and doesn't smell funny or anything. It has this fur here and on the sleeves that I love and I really love how it fits on the body as well. It's like a neck shape and once again highly recommend this. One of my favorite pieces I got from Naked. The next one is actually a false leather blazer and funny enough, I know this is such an iconic piece. I think everyone almost has it already. I always wanted one but I could never find one that I like the material and fit. I don't know why. And I really love this one because the leather is a little bit less shiny. It's more like a matte finish. This one from all that I showed you is probably the one that smells the funniest. I got it for a few days and it's fading away so I don't think it's a problem. Problem. I was just really looking into having a fake leather blazer and I'm really happy with this one. Alright, so to match the blazer I got some fake leather pants. So I got these ones in size European 38, which is a UK 10, so I sized up ones. I usually am like in UK 8, but lately I have been getting everything in UK 10 because I really 
prefer the waist to be a little lower than the belly button but what I like the most is kind of the waist here I really love that they have like no button they look almost like a suit and then they are very wide and have this pleat here which I love I think it looks amazing and actually I love them so much that I purchased them in brown as well lately I've just been falling more and more in love with brown and maybe I can get more stuff from now on to wear like a monochromatic brown feet but yeah they are exactly the same as the black ones also from naked I got a skirt and you guys know I love pleated skirts so I always like to get a new one every season like maybe a different color or so and this season I've been loving green khaki green uh, forest green really deep dark greens so when I saw this one on the naked website I couldn't resist like I can't resist pleated skirts and to finish the naked section I have two accessories because I love their accessories not only uh, like sunglasses and jewelry but the thing that I love the most actually is bags they have really high quality bags so I got this one which is like a shoulder bag I really love this type of bags but I have a lot of this in nylon fabric so I wanted a thick one. I really love this design. It's kind of like 60s, 70s vibe. And the other bag is actually a huge, huge tote bag in fake leather. When I'm out shooting, I usually just go with one outfit and I bring all the others inside of these big bags. And the color is one of my favorites, which is this very creamy white. All right, thank you for hanging in there. We are almost finishing. So now I wanna show you actually one item from a very small vintage brand that I found about it through, actually it was through Sofia. She has a corset from them and I just fell in love with the corsets. I actually want to try to do them myself one day, but they feel a little tricky. But if one day I can get the hang of it, I promise you I will do a video about them so you can try to do them at home but in the meantime you can get these beautiful corsets from Youth Junk Vintage and I got this one in black with a swoosh here I think it's just so pretty I love Nike stuff and I love corsets so the perfect combo and I absolutely love the lace-up detail here okay so it's finally time to show you the Zara items I know you guys are excited about Zara because it's a very accessible brand that it's available in so many different countries so I know a lot of you can purchase from Zara so let me show you my favorites from this season so first item is actually a pair of jeans and you probably see in these jeans everywhere like a lot of girls on Instagram are rocking these jeans and now I understand why so I finally got them I was like should I should I not but I finally got them and I really love them they are called something like the 90s vibe and they really look 90s and grunge and the best thing about them is like the length since I'm a tall girl this length is very good for me I really love the fitting they look so good on the body so I highly recommend the next item are actually some trousers from Zara that I absolutely love I think these are the cutest they have almost like the jeans that I'm wearing now they have like this two layer waist that I think is very pretty actually these jeans are from Source Unknown which is a very cool Korean brand as well so go check it if you want and I love that they are really really baggy they also have this in grey which I absolutely love as well but I couldn't get my hands on those ones because they were sold out on my size they fit really well I really love them and then comes the knitwear and I love knitwear from from Zara and it's very affordable because sometimes knitwear can get really expensive. I got this one which I think it's so pretty. It's like a polo. It's not like too cropped but not too long either. You can put inside of some trousers or jeans but I love that it's baggy and I love the big colors here. The other knitwear that I got was actually this knit length turtleneck. You can't fold it but I love the braiding details on the knit and I love the color. I wanted to have like a gray one and it does kind of this circle here. I love the fitting and you can put just something inside like a shirt popping out all right so before I finish this video I wanted to show you some shoes and I actually have three pairs of boots here that I'm so obsessed with and two of the pairs are actually rubber boots these ones are the ones from Gunny these were actually a little overpriced I know but I really love the fitting of these ones I really love that they are really wide on the leg and I don't regret a bit because I wear them so so much but if you think they are overpriced I actually just got these ones in cream which are so so similar and so much cheaper these are from Public Desire and I love the color so I 
I got them in white because Gunny doesn't have them in white. Here they are not really rubber, they are more like a fake leather. I'm really happy with these ones, they are totally worth the money. And the final item from this haul are actually my favorite, favorite boots from the entire haul, the entire winter, the entire fall, which are my new new rock boots actually it's from spain so i live in portugal and it took just a few days to arrive just how perfect these ones were like 130 euros which i think are totally totally worth it lately i'm so in love with them and a lot of you guys asked on instagram so i will link down below and that was everything so i tried to put as much items as i could in a short amount of time but i just hope you like it don't forget to subscribe next week i will actually get back into my dress like a celebrity for a week series i'm so excited because i haven't done one of those videos in ages and also if you want to follow me on the other social platforms all the links will be down below on the description and i guess i see you next week bye guys